This wine was inspired by the most exclusive wine growing region in the world. A place that's famed for its restraint and elegance over presence and power. But this wine has a lot to prove. It comes from a place that almost no one is expecting to even grow wine grapes. Do you know what this wine is? Just through observation, we can learn about a wine, how it was made, and where it came from. The first thing we'll do is take a look at the color. This wine is a pale ruby to garnet color. The lack of pigment in the wine tells us the grape has thin skins. The more garnet-like hue suggests some kind of skin browning occurred, perhaps from the winemaking process or bottle aging. A quick swirl reveals this is probably average level alcohol, between 12 and 13%. Whoa, unexpected. It's slightly reductive, which means less oxygen during winemaking. I can tell because it has these smoky aromas at the forefront. You can decant these off for about 20 minutes and the stinky smoky notes will reveal the rich fruit underneath. Now I smell raspberry, sugar plum, and floral vanilla bean. These are characteristics of the grape variety. The ripeness implies it was sunny and warm during the growing season where this wine is from. But then we have these rich notes of baking spices and milk chocolate. This wine was definitely aged in oak and probably high quality French oak. There's also a touch of mushroom too indicating some bottle aging, which would explain the garnet color as well. Whoa, another plot twist. This wine actually has moderately high acidity and lower black tea-like tannins. This means we have a cooler climate on our hands, but one that's also sunny and warm. We might be looking at a region with a truncated growing season, perhaps at the northerly or southerly latitude. Pop quiz time. What grape variety? Do you think this is? Is it Sangiovese, Pinot Noir, Morved, or Nebbiolo? Let's phone for a pro and ask Master of Wine Christine Marsilio to fill us in. All right, a pale wine with red fruit flavors, refreshing acidity, and very subtle perfume is very typical of a few grapes like Nebbiolo, Pinot Noir, and Sangiovese. But those lower tannins point us directly to Pinot Noir. Now, Pinot Noir likes a cooler climate and doesn't really do well in super warm areas. But the wine we have today has some hints of a warm climate, such as the red, ripe red fruit flavors, the warming alcohol, and the ripe tannins. But it also has indications of a cooler climate, like the perfumed notes and the medium plus zesty levels of acidity. There is a place that you might not think of as a grape growing region that has an interesting blend of warm and cool climates. If you venture north of the 49th parallel, you'll find a desert-like climate in Canada called the Okanagan Valley. The Okanagan Valley, despite being so far north, has a warm, dry growing season, which is warm enough to ripen Pinot Noir, but thankfully the nights are cool enough to ensure elegant and perfumed examples. This beautiful Canadian grape growing region has vineyards planted all along the shores of Lake Okanagan. The long days during the summer ensures perfect ripening, but as the sun sets, the temperature drops and all of those lovely aromatics and acids are retained. Let's take a look at this specific wine with Madeline to learn more about the producer and how to best enjoy this wine. Okay, my friends, this is the 2019 Quailsgate Pinot Noir from the Okanagan Valley in British Columbia. Quailsgate is a larger producer here, farming over 200 acres of vineyards across Okanagan Valley. The winery is run by a fourth generation farming family who first planted grapes here in 1961 and started the winery in 1989. This would make a great food pairing wine with roast chicken, potato salad, you know, picnic foods. Sophisticated, yet easy to drink. Go Canada. If you like this segment, Leave me or Christine a comment and definitely let us know. This wine is part of Wine Folly Club, so if you'd like to taste along, you can become a member. And we have more tasting videos like these coming up, so definitely subscribe to learn more about wine. Until next time, happy tasting, salut!